Hey folks, this is Jeff with Northwest Safe Company. Today we're going to talk about mailbox maintenance. One of the most common things we run into is we get some phone calls every year where somebody says, hey, the mechanism on my mailbox feels all notchy and it's not operating smooth. And sometimes that even leads to, I can't get my mailbox open. This particular mailbox, you can't actually get it open right now. So what we would do is we would knock on the door a little bit and turn the key. That'll get us into it. And then as you can see, we've had some contaminants floating around in the air, like pollen. The sprinkler system kind of hits the mailboxes here. And we probably also see some driving rain into the, the door area of this mailbox. Um, we've got some spider webs growing, and you can see that there is generally some dirt kind of covering everything inside this door. One of the, the things you'll do is you'll end up coming to kind of wiping down everything, clean it out. You can use compressed air if you want to, or that little thing of canned air. Sometimes those won't uh, take the place of being able to actually wipe the dirt off of everything, though. We'll op try to operate it with the door open if it's possible. And get all the bars cleaned up. Now, you'll see here that there's kind of these scrape marks on the bolt work. And what happens over time is the there's gonna be a little ledge that forms on the, the scrape marks and that's why the mechanism won't work all that hot. So you can use your finger or even a Q-tip and apply grease onto this where these bolts go through the actual bolt work holders or the, the mounts for the bolt work. And you just need a thin film. You can see already that it's got a lot better. You're gonna apply it to the both sides. And then you can operate that mechanism. And now that thing moves like butter. A couple other important points is you might want to check this nut on the end of the key cylinder to make sure it's tight. Um, it doesn't need to be crazy tight. It just needs to hold on there with that star walker, which is going to kind of keep it from running itself loose. Um, make sure you've got your little plastic bumper it's in good shape um, otherwise you might get a little bit of in and out movement on the door and some some metal to metal contact uh, inside the uh, the mailbox you want to make sure your nuts are tight which in most cases they're not going to work their way loose but you can throw a uh, a wrench or a ratchet and a socket on them real quick and make sure everything's working well once you've operated this thing and you make sure that it's working well in the open position go ahead and close it and make sure that that operation continues to be smooth. You pull your upper compartment open if you've got it and check your magnet. Looks like this one we actually need to uh, take the magnet and we'll put some two-part epoxy on it and re-stick it back up so that uh, it holds this door shut. And we're gonna put some tri-flow on these hinges so they get kind of quieter and get a little bit of lubrication. And you can see there that uh, we get some rust running out and they're making some noise. All right, folks, so to save yourself some cash for a service call, just make sure you keep up on your mailbox maintenance, keep everything lubed, keep everything wiped down, and uh, make sure that the key lock is rotating freely. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at the office or visit us at nwsafe.com.